Hello my curlies, welcome back to my channel That Happy Soul. My name is Komal and in my channel I make videos related to curly hair care. Today we are talking about hair growth tools which is very viral and you might have seen at least once in your feeds. So you might have heard of a derma roller. We will be talking about that device today in this video. Also I will be telling you quick few tips how to use that product, what are some do's and don'ts how to start where to start how that device works what are the benefits and what's my experience after using that product for last six months so i will be covering all these topics in this video if you are someone who is interested to know all these things keep watching because we will be talking about this device in detail in this video Let's quickly dive into firstly what is a derma roller so you at least get the basic of what's the device and how does this helps with the hair growth. So derma roller is a tool in a roller form with hundreds of stainless steel or titanium micro needles. It is a manual tool. It doesn't need any electricity or any battery to work and the micro needle helps to improve the skin texture or scalp for your hair growth. It can be used on your skin as well as on your scalp. Firstly, we should know how this roller will help us if I will apply on my scalp. Today, I am talking more about the hair growth or how to use the derma roller on scalp rather than on skin because I haven't used on my skin. I'm scared to do that. But I have used that on my scalp and I will be talking about that in this video. So the derma roller is used to make microscopic punctures or tiny pathways in the outer layer of your skin that helps the product absorption by the skin. When the product is absorbed by your skin properly, the results that you get from that product is comparatively higher than applying product on just on the top layer. When you are making punctures on your skin, the, when you, and you apply the product, the product is actually going into the skin rather than just sitting on top of your layer. How to use derma roller? You need to be very careful while use derma roller because using in a wrong way can lead to scars or even skin infection. When actually rolling that derma roller on your scalp, you need to make proper sections, divide your hair, make path and then only start rolling your derma roller on top of it. Do not just directly start anywhere because it will then tangle all the hair around which will cause a breakage and you will get hurt. You just make different sections. If you want to roll that derma roller around this section, make partition here or make partition here. If you want to go at the back, make partition there and then start rolling where you can see the scalp. Do not roll on the top of your hair where you cannot see the scalp. You need to actually you can see the scalp so, so that the needles can actually make punctures or tiny holes in the scalp. You see this highway here? So this is the place where your derma roller needs to run. It's not here. So you can't see any scalp on this section. So that means you won't run your derma roller here. You will run your derma roller here. If I want to run it this side, I will make partition like this and start doing like this. You take the derma roller, you see the highway, like if I'm taking this section, then you need to roll it three to four times up and down, three to four times left and right. So in both the directions, up and down, left and right in each the section or uh, each of the particular area that you want to focus. So for me, I want to focus here. If sometime I want to focus here, I will just apart make a partition of my hair like this and then start rolling up and down, right and left. So I'll do this for like three to four times and then I'll switch to another area, then down right and left three to four times and then again area. So this is how you actually do your derma roller. Another very important thing is if suppose you are taking this whole area, do not roll your roller for a long path because it will tangle up your hair. So you need to pick up your roller, just focus on small sections, do some up and down, right and left and then pick it up, go to another section, then pick it up, go to another section. Do not take it all along 
to the end because definitely you gonna break your hair or you gonna hurt yourself by doing that so just small sections pick your roller go to another section pick your roller go to another section pick your roller go to another section so do like this so once you have done your roller thing all around your scalp then apply serum or hair oil whatever you want to apply and then gently with the help of your fingers you can just give a very very gentle massage once you're done with this one you need to clean up this and then put it back to the case or the container that you have got another thing do not keep this roller open because once you roll this on your scalp all the grease or natural oil that your scalp had will stick to this roller it will attract dust and it will attract dirt which will stick to this so next time when you are using this if you haven't covered this you are applying dirt and that dust on your scalp remember this is making punctures or tiny holes on your scalp and if this is not clean and if this needle is picking up dust you are entering dust in your scalp which will clog your skin and then cause infection so we need to make sure that this is clean so few things that you need to take care before you even start the derma roller process or introducing into your routine you need to make sure your derma roller is clean you need to maintain your hygiene while you are running your roller make sure you are keeping your hair tight because if the hair is loose it will try to come in between of this roller and as you can see it has needles and it has this thing which tries to tangle up your hair so you need to make it as tight as possible if you can just like put your hand on the one side and then start rolling which will make easier for you and never touch this needle with your hands because your hand might have germs or it can prick you the very important thing it can prick you so try to avoid touching with your hand you need to properly wash it and clean it before you keep it in the case another thing that you need to take care while using derma roller is always treat your derma roller like a razor which means you do not use this derma roller with anyone else it should be your personal and it should be used by only you and like in the case of razor you keep it clean same is with this case you need to keep it clean because it is entering your skin and you do not want any kind of infection or scar so please make sure you are keeping it very very clean before using it always use your derma roller on clean scalp do not keep it for your five to six days of unwashed scalp try to use it on the wash day and then you can do on the second or third day i always do this on my clean scalp which means i usually do on my wash days again reason being why we are not using this on fifth or sixth day is because your scalp is already very dirty it has uh, product build up or it might have uh, dirt or dust and because of this roller is making tiny punctures or tiny holes on your scalp you do not want that dirt to go and clog those tiny punctures or tiny holes otherwise it will give you infection and we do not want that so try to avoid that another thing that you should not do is never apply oil or hair serum on this and then start uh, rolling on your scalp that's not the correct way you first with the clean derma roller you will roll on your scalp and then only you will apply oil or serum directly on your scalp how many times we can use this for beginners i would suggest to use just once a week gradually you can do like two to three times a week it's needle and it's pricking up your skin if you are like putting too much of needle and doing too much of pricking on your scalp it might hurt you so avoid doing too much of that just stick to two to three days that's enough for you what are the benefits as i told it makes channels or tunnels so that your product reaches deepest of your outer skin and give good results it helps in hair growth because the oil or the serum that you are using will reach to its deepest point and helps to give 100% result another benefit that no one has talked about but what i have experienced is with the help of this derma roller i have felt that it helps to exfoliate as well because the micro needles helps to get 
crack of those product build up and i have experienced that more i use this i get more of that white flakiness which is product build up not the dandruff but the product build up so the needle helps to take out that thing so that's my experience i have never heard anyone talking about this one but whenever i use this i feel that um more of flakes get out of my head very common question and most asked question is what size of needle is appropriate for beginners so i started doing the mar roller 6 months back with 0.25 mm of needle size which is the minimum or you say the smallest needle size in the mar roller which looks something like this if you can see this so it has a very very micro needles in here and there are like hundreds of micro needles aligned in like proper in a circular way always go in different directions like i told up and down right and left not just go in one direction and also do not go just in one long way you need to pick your roller roll and then go to another place roll and then go to another place always do on a clean scalp another mostly asked question is does it hurt or does it bleed this tool has very micro needles which are entering your scalp so yes it might bleed a little you might see blood dots so do not be scared of that that's normal because if you are pricking something into your skin you will get to see blood that's the reason you should not overdo this if you are a beginner once a week is enough to start when i had thinner hair uh, when when i had thinner hair in some areas i experienced um, more of pricky feeling in that particular area uh, compared to the area where i had more of hair because if you have more hair the needle find it's difficult to touch your scalp or even go into your scalp but if the surface is clean say your skin or if i say this area the surface is more clean less hair which means needle gets more space and the needle goes into your skin so that means in such areas where you are facing more of um thinning of hair or you have lost hair or you have like proper bald patches you will feel more pricky in that area compared to the area where you have more volume hair the pain that you uh, get by using this uh, tool i won't say it's a pain it's a pricky feeling whenever i roll my roller in this area especially like this and this i get watery eyes which means uh, it is more pricky feeling for me in this area i have used my roller in this area as well and i have hair thinning somewhere around here as well when i use here I do not feel any prickiness I do not feel any watery eyes I'm okay with that feeling Overall the pain is bearable it's not like you cannot use Now comes the point how to clean this tool Firstly you need to clean up whatever dirt you have got in here so to do that either run this tool under hot water or simply take a cup with the hot water put some shampoo in it and then keep it for like 4 to 5 minutes and then it will get rid of all the dirt and the greasiness that might have stick to this too but there are days when you get more tough stick to this and it doesn't go with warm water personally with me as i told i have felt exfoliation of my scalp which means i have saw that the flakes that was on my scalp got stuck into here to get rid of that i use a small brush and i just run on top of this to get um rid of all the grease all the white flakiness anything that stuck to this needle it gets away with the help of the brush so you might need a small brush clean this uh, tool thoroughly once you are done with the washing and cleaning thing now is the part you need to spray some disinfectant um to this so that so that this is usable next time so make sure you have some disinfectant or you can use a sanitizer just so just spray that and then let it dry under the sun 
sun helps to kill the germs and it will help to dry easily another thing to take care is that do not keep this tool anywhere on the table or anywhere outside always keep in the case that you have got like this and then you can let it sun dry or air dry so once it's dry always keep in case so that no dirt and dust sticks to this so i started using this derma roller which was a 0.25 mm at start i was very scared because even a one step could lead to scar or could lead to very bad infection so i was very gentle with my each and every step and i kept my derma roller very clean and i always have a uh, disinfectant to clear to clean this tool and i have always used this roller with very gentle hands i have never pushed or never pressed while rolling on my scalp and till now from the start until now also i have always used this like two to three times a week not more than that another thing that i have been continuously doing is i have been always using a hair serum or hair oil after massaging with the derma roller which has given me insane results i have never felt that any product has worked so good with the use of the derma roller whatever product or the serum or the hair oil i am using gives me better results compared to when i'm using that product alone overall derma roller has helped my hair growth and i have seen very good results i have seen hair growing from places where i couldn't see anything i have seen a new hair growing from the surface so yeah this tool works but need to make sure that you are also using a good hair growth serum or hair oil to get the hair growth so whenever you start using make sure that you keep it clean use it in a correct way do not hurt yourself do not overdo that's it i hope i have helped with your doubts and cleared all the question or doubts you had related to this derma roller if there's anything that i haven't covered please let me know i will try to answer your questions in the comments or if there is anything that you want me to cover let me know and then i will come back with that video so that's it for today until then take care see you in next video